Hello student, today we talk about a sex pyramid and this topics come under population composition. Now let's start our discussion about this topic. So what is a sex pyramid? Okay, so simply we can say that a sex composition of a country if you show in a pyramid then it is simply called as a sex pyramid and this pyramid also help to understand uh, of a country in a better way. Now on the basis of the shape of these pyramids different countries can be grouped into four stages. Stage 1, stage 2, stage 3 and stage 4 and different stages are characterized by different demographic characteristics. Okay, that means high birth rate, low age rate. So different stages are characteristics in different demographic characteristics. Now first of all we talk about here this picture show four uh, diff uh, stages of four. So first one is stage 1. So here in this stage we found concave shape. This shape is known as concave on the other hand if you look about the stage 4 then we found convex shape okay now we talk about stage 1 where high birth and death rate result uh, resulting lower life expectancy and stage 2 that means high bir uh, birth rate still high but death rate going down okay now we talk about stage 3 falling birth rate low death rate okay now we talk about stage 4 where low birth rate low death rate that means high life expectancy so this is also help to understand of a country's socio-economic condition different countries sex pyramid represent different stages of demographic uh, composition now here i'm representing pyramid of nigeria 2010 the shape of the pyramid of nigeria is concave and shows high birth rate and this side is shows male this side is female of this pyramid and base is wide because larger population is in lower age group that means dependent population is high and gradually reduce thickness in the top that means the rapid decrease of proportion of pupil in each higher age group implies high death rate so this type of pyramid is an example of developing countries now next we talk about our next pyramid that is a constant population where this is an example of australia pyramid of australia 2016 shape is almost bell shape lower age group is low and 60 plus age group is high if you compared with it expanding population pyramid okay now our next pyramid is declining population pyramid of Japan 2016 where base is narrow and gradually reduced thickness in the top. That means in the population of Japan number of pupil in the age group of below fertility period is low and the population in the age group of 0 to 15 years is 18%. The major part of the population in the age group of fertility period okay only 17% of pupil are below uh, uh, sorry are above 65 years of age. That that means this uh, pyramid actually example of developed countries okay now student these are the three types of pyramid that we found expanding constant and declining population now finally uh, we talk about our conclusion part so here uh, in this conclusion part we say that the shape of this pyramid give an indication about the economic and social condition in various countries this pyramid also help in planning of human resource development so that's all for today thank you